So we're back with, what is this, square number 23. Sorry, I had this upside down. Yes, that is the bind off. I couldn't remember what side was which. Anyway, so here is square number 23. Um, yeah, this one's worked in even multiples. So if you're gonna make this eight inch square or you know 20 centimeter square, you're gonna chain 30. It's a two row repeat. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do the foundation row, 25 rows, and then your bind off. All right, so let's start. So we're gonna begin from a uh, foundation row and then for those of you just barely joining us if you don't know how to make a foundation row just go to the beginning of the playlist and then just follow along by the time you get to this stitch you know you'll be able to do it and if not you know there's a Tunisian 101 course I'll link them either up here or in the description box all right so once you've got your foundation row ready to go row number one we are going to do a front yarn over you're gonna have to hold this down and you're gonna Tunisian simple stitch two together so vertical stitch number two and vertical stitch number three. You're gonna insert your hook behind the front leg of the stitch. So for two and three like so. Don't release this yarn over, just hold on to it. You're gonna yarn over again. This time it's a regular yarn over. And you're gonna pull that through both of the vertical stitches. That way you have now added two loops to your hook. So these two loops correspond to the two vertical stitches we just stitched. So this one was the first one you already had it on your hook. You're gonna repeat that same step with every one of the vertical stitch pairs of the row. So again, front yarn over or you know reverse yarn over, hold this, uh, the thread, I can't speak, hold this yarn over loop thing. <laughs> and then you're gonna insert your hook behind the next pair of vertical stitches. So Tunisian simple stitch two together without releasing your yarn, you're just gonna yarn over and pull that through your hook. So. I'll do the last two we have left. And then once you get to the end, so you'll finish this last pair, you're gonna cast on into the final stitch of the row. So count your loops, make sure that you have the same number that you changed. So if you're making the square, you should have 30 loops on your hook. Then you're gonna do a regular return pass. So you're just gonna yarn over and pull through one. Now the rest of the row is yarn over, pull through two, until you are left with just the one vertical stitch, not vertical stitch, the one loop on your hook. So when you get to the end, your row is gonna look like this. So we begin with row number two. For row number two, you're gonna go into the second vertical stitch, so it looks like this. So the second one's kinda spread out like this, and then the third vertical stitch is all close together. So you're gonna have your front and your back legs like right, almost stacked up on each other. So whereas this one's kind of separate. All right, so for vertical stitch number two, you're just gonna insert your hook behind both legs of the stitch, like so. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Now for vertical stitch number three, so all of these vertical ones that are just tightly, I don't know, the two legs are tight together like that, you're gonna skip them and you're gonna yarn over so that we can maintain the same stitch count. So yarn over, skip vertical stitch number three. You're gonna go to number four. Now the back leg, just back there, it tends to hide behind this kind of, I don't know, the tight vertical stitch, so all the odd number vertical stitches. So this back leg tends to hide back there, so you might have to look for it a bit. But anyway, so you're gonna go into the next one, insert your hook behind both of the legs of the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. We're gonna skip the next stitch, so yarn over, skip, go to the next one, and then cast on. Oh, so here, see? You can see the front leg, but the back leg is kind of tucked in back there. All right, so when you get to the end of the row, you're gonna have one of these skip stitches. So yarn over, skip, and cast on into the final stitch of the row. And again, just make sure you have the same number of loops as you did before, and you complete the row with a regular return pass. All right, so that was row number one and row number two. You're gonna repeat those until you have 25 rows. This does not include your foundation row or your bind off. So foundation row, 25 rows, and then bind off. Row number three is just a repetition of row number one. It just looks a little bit different. So we'll start this one together, but you're going to yarn over. So reverse yarn over, insert your hook behind the top leg of the first vertical stitch, and then the second one like that. Or I guess second vertical stitch and third if you want to look at it that way. There you go. 
and then you repeat. So reverse yarn over, Tunisian simple stitch two together, yarn over, pull up a loop, reverse yarn over, Tunisian simple stitch two together, yarn over, and pull up a loop. So when you reach row 25, your stitch is going to look like this, or I guess your fabric is going to look like this. We're going to do a Tunisian simple stitch two together because we want to create a look that's similar to what we've got going down here. So you're going to begin with vertical stitch two and three. So you're just going to insert your hook behind the front leg of the second vertical stitch and then the third yarn over and pull up a loop. Once you have two loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through both of them to close as a single crochet. Now, in order to maintain stitch count, you're going to insert your hook right next to Well, in this it's not exactly chain space, I guess. The chain would be up here. So I guess, yeah, maybe the chain space. In this space down here, you're going to insert your hook and single crochet. So yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through two. Now you're going to go into the next pair of stitches. So this is the front vertical stitch, or the front leg of the vertical stitch. So insert your hook behind this one. And then in the next one, to Tunisian simple stitch two together. Once you have your two loops, you close as a single crochet, so yarn over, pull through two. And you're going to go into the chain space after that second vertical stitch. So it's going to be kind of tucked in in here. And single crochet. So Tunisian simple stitch two together. And then single crochet. And then once you get to the end, so here's that last Tunisian simple stitch two together, you're going to single crochet in this chain space, and then you're also going to single crochet in the final stitch of the row. So single crochet here, and single crochet here. To the end, you're just going to chain one, that's going to make a small knot, go ahead and cut your yarn, pull your hook out and everything else, and there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in the next tutorial, I don't know, sometime next week. <laughs>